What are the top three things you think artists, up and coming artists should know? Um, I think it's very, very important that you define where you want to be in five years. Uh, and that has to be realistic. And also very important is to understand that the art market more or less has three levels. This is, let's say, if you compare it to the stock market, there's the blue chip market, that's a million and above for a painting, that's the established market. Um, there it's not a question anymore, like, is this real, is this valuable? It is, it's just what it is. Then I would say you have, let's say, I call it the bit, um, the, the potential zone, that's art pieces or where you would like to go in this direction of 100,000 to a million. Um, where I think is the hardest part because you need a lot of support from collectors, you need a lot of support um, from your home country. So it's also very important where are you based. Um, is your country uh, a home buyer market? Um, is your country known for collecting a lot of art? Um, that's also very important. You will have a much harder standing if you um, are not from a home buyer market. And then you have the market, let's say, from zero to 100,000, which to me is also zero to 25,000, where most people range. Um, this doesn't mean that you have to stay there, but um, also it's better to start there and build up a good community of collectors. Um, and you learn a lot about this before you would try to go to the next step from 25 to let's say 100,000, which I would call, let's say, the danger zone, especially for a collector, because this piece has then to make it to above 100 later on to be established art, to say so. Um, and, and that's why I think this is very difficult. You have to have a clear strategy, how much you produce, uh, to whom do you assign it. Um, don't become reliable uh, on either a collector or on a gallery, whatever. Keep your free space, you can move. Um, and, and don't be shy to try things. I think that's also very, very important. I think that's, that's the major thing also. I mean, now I, I, I put it in a, in a, let's say, money kind of sense, like these, these different categories. But in the end, if you would like to live from your passion, you still have to earn something from it. So you have to uh, make sure you can keep on doing it. So in that sense, yeah, you have to uh, find your buyer in the end of the day, your collector. Um, and that is something I think is very, very important, um, not to look at it too much as a hobby perspective. If you want to do it, do it with a plan and do it for real and, and, and be very professional. Okay.